hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x square plus x divided by x is equals to 16 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method you see here this x is divided by here we need to move this into the right hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 16 and it will be written as x square plus x is equals to this is 16 is multiplied by x so further in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is x square plus x and we move this 16x from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes minus 16x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have these are the two like terms so when we subtract these two values it will be written as x squared and this x minus 16 is equals to minus 15x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to take common x from here and when we take common x we get the remaining values are so from here we get x only minus from here we get 15 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 15 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation which we get here and from here we move this minus 15 to the right hand side and it will becomes x is equals to plus 15 so this is the second root of the given equation so here you see that in the first method we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is these two values our solution or is these two values our extraneous root of this equation for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is x square plus x divided by x is equals to 16 and here in this side we will be substitute x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be substitute x is equals to 15 and we check the behavior of the given equation on both of these two roots and here first we just verify x is equals to 0 it means that we just put x equals to 0 into the left hand side and we check its behavior when you put it here it will becomes 0 square plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 16 or not here we check that is both of these two sides are equal or not so you know about that 0 square becomes 0 plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 16 and we have this is 0 plus 0 uh, becomes here 0 over 0 form is equals to 16 so here you see that uh, our left hand side becomes 0 over 0 form or usually we will just call it that it is the indeterminate form or in other word we just say that it is undefined. So if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal. So if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of x is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement and we called that x is equal to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so x equals to 0 be the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and now here uh, we just verify our second root and our second root is x is equals to 15 and when we put x is equals to 15 here it will be written as 15 square plus 15 divided by 15 is equals to 16 or not so here you see that uh, we need to take common 15 from the numerator side and when we will take common it it will become here 15 plus 1 divided by 15 is equals to 16 so this 15 is cancelled out by this 15 and we get here 15 plus 1 becomes 16 equals to 16 
This shows that both of the sides are equal. It means that the value of x is equal to 15 is satisfied over this given question statement. And we conclude about the solution set of this question is x is equal to 15. So this is the only one solution which we get here. And now here in the next step we again solve this problem for second method. And in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here. So that our given question statement is x square plus x divided by x is equal to 16. So here we use a different technique to find uh, the roots of this equation. So here we just break the fraction and when we break the fraction it will be written as x square divided by x plus x divided by x is equal to 16. And you see here this x and this x are cancelled out by each other and we get here x plus this x and this x are also cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 is equal to 16 and this implies that here we need to move this 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes here x is equal to 16 minus 1 and you know about that uh, 16 minus 1 is equals to 15 so we write it here x is equals to 15 so you see that we have in the second method we get only one root of the given equation and that is x is equals to 15 but here in the first method we already verify that x is equals to 15 is satisfied our given question statement uh, so we just conclude about that the solution set of this question is x is equals to 15 so this is the only one solution of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos